This is Witchbase News for Friday the 14th of August 2020 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ... Frontier clarification on mining and some changes to tritium usage ... The dev diary is next week ... There's a DSSA passport coming and more. If you enjoy this video remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Frontier Community Manager Paul Crowther took to the forums this afternoon to drop an update on the state of mining in the game and a small bombshell about tritium usage for fleet carriers going forward. I've linked to the post below but here's the short version. Frontier it seems are mostly content that mining hotspots are producing resources now at the levels that they intended. Overlapping hotspots will still produce more resources but not quite at the fantastic levels that we have seen previously. Whilst FDev are happy that resource production is now where it needs to be they do still feel that the work required to fill the fuel tank of a fleet carrier through mining is still an unreasonable time sink and are therefore making tritium 50% more efficient meaning you'll have to mine less tritium to go further to all intents and purposes doubling the range of the existing fuel tank. Whilst testing of the resource gathering levels by the community is now needed we are very pleased to see some official clarification on where FDev see mining sitting given all the changes that we've had. The current resource gathering levels coupled with the announcement regarding tritium efficiently is almost certainly bound to spark some heavy debate in the community at large on the relative pluses and minuses. It's early days as the announcement was only just made this very afternoon but the initial reception from the community seems to be generally positive. Of particular note is a renewed confidence that carrier expeditions and DSSA carrier movements can now resume. So far however we have no word on tritium availability in the commodity markets of Colonia. But what are your feelings on the situation now? Will you look again at mining? Are you now suddenly able to move your carrier again? Let us know in the comments below. Frontier Developments hosted their regular Thursday livestream last night featuring the DSSA Carrier Initiative. More on that in a moment. At the end of the stream, as had been promised, Stephen Benedetti announced the release date of the much anticipated first Odyssey Expansion Developer Diary. This coming Tuesday, the 18th of August at 1800 UTC, Frontier will be hosting a special livestream on Twitch to premiere the development diary, talk more in depth about its content, and the stream will also include some unannounced special guests. Aside from the announcement and trailer a few weeks back, we've not heard any more details about Odyssey or what it will include, and it's no understatement to say that the community is at this point bursting with questions, concerns and no small degree of anticipation about what Odyssey includes and how it's all going to work. It's been a tough couple of years for Elite Dangerous with delays and buggy releases, the subsidence of the Thargoid war and the resultant lack of station rescue and repair gameplay, the withdrawal of community goals and of course the drought on the in-game Galnet newsfeed. The future of Elite Dangerous and how it's supported by the community going forward absolutely hinges on Odyssey and the success of the expansion. The launch of this first developer diary and its importance to the games health going forward cannot be overstated. No pressure then. Tuesday represents the first opportunity for Frontier to assuage a few fears, set some expectations and blow more than a few pairs of socks off with excitement over what the future will hold. We're stupidly, hilariously, ridiculously excited to see what this first look will have in store for us. Tuesday can't come soon enough and the livestream is bound to see a colossal turnout from the community. The main thrust of the livestream last night was to feature the player driven deep space support array network of fleet carriers that is currently being highlighted by Frontier's featured commander initiative. If you're unfamiliar with the DSSA I've linked to the Frontier forum piece about them below as well as to the archive of last nights livestream. Toward the end of the livestream the current DSSA organiser Naughty Nate made an announcement. 
A large portion of the DSSA carriers have a mission patch associated with them. Indeed our own Commander Rini has created at least one DSSA carrier mission patch for our faction's official DSSA carrier the Burian Anchorage captained by Commander Eagle 131 that is now stationed at the Dryow Awesomes. The DSSA are currently hard at work creating a kind of DSSA passport application that will sit alongside the game and monitor your activity and when you dock at a DSSA carrier it will stamp that passport with the patch associated with that carrier and thus will be born a new Elite Dangerous metagame DSSA Carrier Patch Collecting. There's no solid release date on the applications launch but it is due soon in inverted commas. If you were planning on visiting all the DSSA carriers and there's well over a hundred of them then you might want to hold off until the apps launch. When we know more we will of course report on it here so watch this space. Commander Black Maze has released another of his race highlight videos from the current ongoing 8 wheel drive endurance rally championships. If you've not seen the previous videos in the series then they really are worth a look. Black Maze is able to present the races events in the style of a televised race event due to an app created by Commander Crank Larson that the contestants all run during the race. The app feeds positional data and driver information back to a central server which then tells the camera ship following the race where everyone is and what racer the camera is closest to allowing for some dynamically updated on screen graphics. I just love stuff like this. It's honestly really really clever. Please do give it a look. And finally this week the flight assist podcast from commanders Psykit and Mal for the win is always worth a listen. Focusing as it does on the commanders that make up the elite community rather than the game itself but perhaps slightly more so this week as it featured an interview with community favourite and ex frontier product manager Sally Morgan Moore. Sally was an elite commander before joining frontier and has continued in that regard since leaving as well as just being a massive fascinating space nerd in general. Sally is always a joy to talk to. Be sure to check it out. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>